Hey guys, today we're going to do a bit of a tutorial on the Ubiquiti Pico Station M2 HP, which is an indoor outdoor Wi Fi <coughs> um, device and it's quite good for extending your network. Um, you can use it as a bridge or um, as an AP. Uh, it comes with basically what's in the what's on the back of the box here. It comes with the actual unit, an aerial, um, a holder for sliding the unit into, a plug, and a power over Ethernet device. So um, you are going to need a couple of extra bits when you when you buy one of these, and I highly rate them. I think they're great. Um, it can go up to a thousand megawatt of power and a hundred megabit per second of real throughput. So they're quite grunty. Um, so it gives you quite a quite a big. It expands your wireless range. So if you're getting parts of your house or parts of a workshop or whatever that are, or office that are a little bit lean and you're getting very slow out uh, throughput at that point, you can put one of these guys in halfway in between you and your router, and um, you know it should be good to go. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a computer. You're going to need a um, a network cable. And also you're going to have to have a network cable coming out of your computer. Okay, so first things first. Um, if, I guess we better start from the beginning because what we need to do is make sure that uh, you guys know how to reset these things before you start. So basically plug the plug in. I've got this powered up to the, my, my power. So plug it in and you'll see the power active device light come on. Um, and you want to plug in the PoE connection with one side of your network cable and remove, slide the cover off the bottom here and you'll see you've got a, a network cable um, port in there. There's also a little button in here. Now that little button, when you press on it, you hold it in for you know, 10 seconds, 15, 10 to 30 seconds and then release it and all the lights will uh, liven up and it will go through a self test and it will reset everything back to stock standard. Okay, so you're going to have to remove this cover anyway. So we'll plug in the um, device into your network cable. And just click that in like so and you'll see the lights come on. Okay, so what we need to do on the other side, we'll put this aside for now. So it doesn't fall anywhere. Is there's another port on here for the LAN. Now you need to actually directly connect into this device for configuring it initially. Once you've configured it then and you've got it set up as your access point or um, bridge or um, station or whatever mode you wanted to set it to, um, then you can connect through, through it wireless for management etc. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to um, connect a network cable Oh, that goes directly to my computer into this device and now I've got to do a configuration change on the computer itself so we'll just switch over to that mode now okay so what we need to do now is just click on your start button control panel and go into your network and sharing center now we want to go to manage network connections and just right click on your wireless in uh, network interface that you've connected to here we're going to have to click on uh, properties, continue, and scroll down until you find the IP TCP IP4 properties. And then what basically you want to set this up so that it's on the same subnet as your device, uh, your wireless device, um, your Pico station. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up for 192.168.1.100 and we'll leave the subnet mask standard leave the gateway and, and everything alone and we're going to click OK alright now um, if you have that disabled you want to enable it so now what we need to do now that that's sorted out is go to your open up a browser and type in your address for the Pico station is 192.168.1.20 and then enter okay now this is comes up with a username and password 
Username is UBNT, password is UBNT. Select the country that you want to set up. Um, in this case, it's New Zealand. Language English and login. Oh, you've got to click, click on the terms um, of use. And that should log into the system. Okay, so now we can see two boxes down the bottom here. One of them is live. Um, the LAN the, the LAN box uh, is check, checking the data on the LAN port, and it's actually got data coming through. But the wireless LAN has got zero, uh, nothing, um, on uh, on transmitting or receiving. So the RX or the TX, and um, you will notice that there's no lights apart from the first two, the power light and the uh, the little d double arrow facing away with the dotted line in between, which is your LAN port. That's that'll be um, blinking on and off because you've got a signal receiving, which shows on your uh, LAN um, spec box here, which is your throughput checking. And so what we need to do here is you should already have your device set up your main wireless device connected to your DSL or whatever connection you've got in this case I've got a, um, a D-Link router wireless router so what we need to do is click on the on the um, wireless tab and for simplicity we're going to we're just going to leave this in station mode okay now uh, we'll click enable wireless transparent bridge and select we're going to check to see what di what um, systems are available in the network so we'll just go back to that again and we'll just click on select in the SCC ID code we'll click select and that scans the networks arranging networks to see what's available in this case I've set mine up called ADSL so I want to click on that and then click lock to AP so it'll automatically change the SSID to ADSL it will automatically um, lock the MAC address of that device. It will automatically set up what, which, whichever mode the uh, device, the master device, the D-Link in this case, is set up with. It will automatically work those out. Um, so what we need to do here is down the bottom it's got wireless security. Now you would have set up your wireless security on your main router. So what you need to do is basically give the exact same password as that okay and then click on change and then click on apply at the top here now it's going to basically reset that router and you'll see down here on the router itself it's just started linking up again and we'll see if it gets a connection and the, all the lights are on now so we'll just click on the main tab and you can see here now you've got a signal strength which is great that's fantastic that's coming from the device and on the right left hand side here in the WLAN 0 you'll see that it's actually it's transmitting data it's not receiving any because nothing's sending anything through it okay so that's that's basically the setup